This week in Nerf, we've got tons of new blasters, new motors, and some third-party teasers. I'm Jangular, and every Saturday morning, this is your source for first-party, third-party, and community Nerf news. This week, there was a ton of news popping up, so much so that I actually had to decide what we could fit into one episode and what we can wait on until next week. So there's more even to look forward to next week as well. But let's let's get on into it. First up, uh, we have something that was found by June S. I'm posted on Reddit. This is a bunch of images from the Nerf Perks website, basically confirming a lot of the blasters that we've seen, we've been seeing leaks of over the past few months. Now. The big one we're going to talk about is the Stratohawk, which is essentially a gear up rapid strike, which is just awesome. I, uh, I love this thing. I'm excited for it for so many reasons. One, because it seems they're kind of bringing back the gear up uh, theme to some other blasters under the AccuStrike line, which is just awesome to me because those are some really cool looking blaster themes. Uh, but on top of that, it's the return of the Rapid Strike, just under a different name, which is great because some people have had hard times finding Rapid Strikes recently, and it is such uh, uh, an awesome platform that people love to work with. So getting that back and in a different color is even better. So I'm definitely a big fan of that. I know that I'm going to be taking some of those white bits and putting them on my Fabu Strike, which is something I'm super looking forward to. Uh, this is going to come with some extra accessories, a scope, a barrel, which for the modding community isn't exactly exciting, but it is coming with a 25 round drum, which is pretty exciting because that's a nice touch. Yes, it does mean no more clear 18 dart magazines, but it is nice to have access to some slightly different things every now and then. Now. The other blaster that's the big thing to talk about that nobody, I think, saw coming outside of maybe a name that was found in a leak a while back, but no images, this is the Accu Trooper. This is a reskinned Elite Alpha Trooper with a 25 dart drum, just like the Stratohawk, and a new stock. It's kind of like the old school stock that we uh, liked from the Lightning Storm that's been reworked by Worker. Just a little bit... Mm, skeletonized, I guess we could say, which hopefully it's comfortable. I hope it's also stable because it would be nice to have another longer stock option for those of us that do have longer arms or are taller or anything like that. So uh, definitely looking forward to that and very curious about it. But both these are under the AccuStrike line, so they have that orange and black theme with AccuStrike darts, which is great because AccuStrike darts are the best darts that Nerf makes, so that's definitely a plus. Now there's definitely other things in this image link that confirms things, the uh, the new clear shot, which is the sure, shot, sure strike, I think, um, the rough cut that we've seen, the battle camo stripe that we've seen, uh, the Kronos battle set that we've seen, and we talked about, I think even last week, that people thought wasn't going to be real, are in fact real. This one, uh, the Kronos battle set specifically, is the one that people were having an issue with because uh, it looked different from the red set that was leaked. This is the blue one that we know is for sure, but I'm assuming we're gonna see a red one because I don't know why they would release blue with goggles and red without. I I'm guessing that we'll see variants of both both with the, the battle pack goggles and all of that and extra rounds and the standard setup that we see for Kronos's in general. So this is, this is definitely cool. This is definitely exciting. I'm definitely pretty uh, happy about these confirmations. We can finally stop wondering about most of these things and know 100% for sure that they are in fact real and going to be available, I would assume, sometime soon. Um, which actually, this leads me into the next thing I wanted to talk about, which is an image posted by Marco Antonio Garola. And this is an image of a fire strike that is a different color. Uh, it still looks blue-ish, kind of like the Delta Trooper, Surge Fire, a lot of the newer stuff that, that Nerf has been doing. And the interesting thing to me that first came to mind, I think other people shared as well in this, is that that's kind of the same blue and colors as the CQ-10. So are they adding more things in? Is this potentially something that 
helps lend a little bit of credence to the CQ10 leaks, or maybe just kind of gives you that little bit more of a feeling of a possibility that the CQ10 will be coming out and was not just some prototype deal that they made a, a few of that one got leaked out into the wild. So that's something I'm definitely, definitely interested in and very curious about. So that one got me thinking it was worth sharing, I felt. Uh, one other thing I want to talk about for new blasters and new releases and whatnot Valor Lionheart shared this image, and this is an image of some promo material of the Series 2 Microshots. Now, this is something we've talked about in the past, way back during Toy Fair, when we saw kind of things in the background and stuff like that. But this is a nice, clear image of what the Strife, the Rough Cut, and the Crossfire Bow, uh, I believe it's the Crossfire Bow, yeah, Crossfire Bow, are going to look like when they do release. And I'll I know I'm excited about the Rough Cut and the Strife 100%. Gotta be picking those up. Crossfire Bow is one that some people are confused about, but potentially it sold well to younger kids and uh, just people that wanted to goof around and have something fun, so that may be why they are going with that one. So definitely interesting, but I like the collectible style stuff, so I'm very much excited for these uh, and looking forward to them. So I'm glad we're seeing the... the uh, official images start to circulate and hopefully it's available in the near future. Uh, I do need to pick up my Series 1 ones still to keep in the packaging, but that's neither here nor there. Let me know what you think about these in terms of collector's items and whatnot. Are you looking forward to them? Are you going to take them out? Are you going to keep them in their packaging? That kind of stuff. It's always interesting to me. There's actually one more new blaster that was just showcased actually while I was filming this episode. And that is Reaper's Rival Hellfire Shotgun. That's right. If you are an Overwatch fan, you know that we've heard some rumblings of some uh, Overwatch blasters. This appears to be the first one that we are seeing images of in a video rendering that was posted to the Overwatch Facebook group, it is Reaper's Shotgun, which will be a lot of fun to use. Hopefully it will be one hand wieldable and usable. It does look to have potentially a hammer priming mech, but it, from the render, it looks like it's almost uh, part of the mold itself and not a moving part. It looks like there may be like a small pump prime at the bottom, but regardless, the images says this is all just renditions or renders and may be subject to change and all that, but it should be coming in 2019. So definitely, as soon as we have some more information, I will let you all know, but I wanted to get that little tidbit out to you uh, to get your thoughts on it as well. To move on to something else, so we're going at a bit of a quicker pace because we do have more than normal to talk about. But real quick, we're going to touch on the brand new motors that released yesterday. Those are the Valkyrie and Kraken by Out of Darts, produced by Foam Blast. I did a whole video on this, and that video will be linked up above. You can click on that uh, to find out all the details. But basically, these are two new 3S motors uh, under the Out of Darts brand that are, one is geared towards being like a value workhorse at $4 per, uh, both of them hitting around 35,000 RPMs. One has around 400 some odd uh, uh, grand forces of torque. And the other, the Kraken, is at about 740, which is much more significant. Both of these, again, 3S motors, the Kraken running at about $8 per motor um, available now, again, the video with all the details and some firing demos and stuff like that will be above, but definitely worth knowing, definitely worth checking out. I got a chance to actually test them and play with them before. I'm excited about them uh, in metal cages because the Krakens have ball bearings and centered neodymium magnets. They sing. Oh, they sound so good. Absolutely love it. Uh, but I don't want to get too far into that because... Like I said, we got more to talk about. We actually got one more thing to talk about before we get into our modern video of the week, and that is the FDL-3. Now, we've known that it's been in development for a little while now, but it was just talk for the longest time that, you know, it was being worked on. We didn't really have much to go on, just that Jesse and, and, and Project FDL had ideas and they, they wanted to put them into the new blaster, but now we're seeing teaser images that have been leaked out over the past few weeks. We'll cycle through them up on the screen here, including things like potentially a levered uh, uh, switch for a actual trigger instead of a button. 
potentially vertical flywheels from a muzzle image that we've seen that looked like it was definitely taller rather than wider. But again, these are just leaked images of small bits. So we can't really say 100%. It's all speculation and assumptions at this point based off those images. But we have seen one that did look like it was more of a longer, slimmer, sleeker looking body without the bulk that the FDL2 has. Uh, what we do know, however, is that they've said it should be ready in the near future, I believe was the words. Um, it's almost here is actually the words that was used by Project FDL. Uh, the other thing that we do know is that it should be priced around the same as the FDL 2X. So keep that in mind if you're looking forward to it, that that is probably going to be the target price range. It's not going to be much lower priced, but around the same price range as what it looks like we should be expecting. So I'm definitely interested, definitely excited about uh, seeing what Project FDL is up to for the FDL 3 and what it's going to amount to and the changes and all of that. So that's something I would definitely uh, recommend keeping your eye out on and let me know what you think we're going to see in the project or in the FDL3 down below. That's going to bring us to our mod of the week and this week it comes to us from Dwayne Stanley. This is the Franken Cita and oh my god this blaster. Are you kidding? This is a Cita that has just been completely overhauled and we're not even going to get into the internals, internals work outside of the fact that it's been modified to use the Worker 25N spring and uh, change some things around to make it function better. But I love the aesthetics of this blaster. Oh, oh, oh man, look at it. It's got a skeletal, skeletal foot for the stock going over the kind of skeletal look of the stock the way it is normally. He decided to just go full skeleton and put a foot bones on the back of it to rest against your shoulder. I thought that was crazy cool. Along with like stitched flesh across the back and the barrel of the body, along with just really nice colors to match that look. It, it just oozes awesomeness. This thing is so cool. I saw it and I just knew this, ha I, this has to be shared to as many people as possible because this, uh, this to me is kind of like a lot of the Plastidip artists that I follow uh, on Facebook and such for like LARPing style stuff, this almost looks like something you would see there or at like a cosplay type uh, blaster for something. It's just super cool and I really love uh, the way this blaster turned out. So if you want to see more images and more details of what all went into it, definitely, definitely hit up the link below because it is super cool and I love it. So. Uh, go check that one out. And now we come to our video of the week. And this week it comes to us from Mr. Nathan. This is the Centurion Demolisher Integration by Silver Fox Industries. Now this is not Mr. Nathan's work. This is Silver Fox Industries blaster that he brought to End War. And uh, Mr. Nathan got a chance to have it in his shop and talk about it with Silver Fox Industries. And to me, I wanted to share this because it shows the genuine joy that Mr. Nathan has for works of art or well done blasters in our hobby. And you get to see him and hear him kind of gush over someone else's blaster and having it in hand and having him talk through the, the process and the things that were done and how things were done. It's just really cool to see him get that excited about someone else's work and, and really uh, just to me furthers that aspect of we just want to see cool things in the community of wanting to share uh, the wonderful things that are built and done in this hobby in this community and I thought that itself made it worth sharing with all of you because it's it's a cool blaster and it's worth taking a look at uh, because it is very well done so that's going to be right over here in just a moment we are now at the end of the video as always thank you so much to the patrons that make this channel possible to grow the way it does along with all of you that just share the videos comment on the videos like the videos all of that is always amazing and appreciated and helps this channel just continue to grow every single day. And for that, thank you so much. I genuinely appreciate it and love sharing this with all of you. So if you have any suggestions or ideas for uh, next week's video, please let me know down below. I love hearing from all of you. And if you are new to the channel and you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that subscribe button for one in the future. Now, click on that video link over there. Go check out Mr. Nathan's uh, video of Silver Fox Industries Blaster. Go check out 
the Frankenseda and the links down below, and let me know what you think of everything else this week. With that said, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.